Welcome everyone. In order to use this drill to access your iOS files, you will need to go onto Google and search for this drill. You're then going to find the this drill from cleverfiles.com. Okay, any other website is a fake. Once we go to the Clever Files website, we're going to see the free download right here. And we also see also available for Mac OS. So let's go to the free download. And we'll just wait for this page to load. And now you can see downloading this drill for Mac OS. Once the disk drill has downloaded, either click on the .dmg or the .exe. So in my case, I click on the .dmg. And then we just need to drag and drop the disk drill to our applications. On the Windows, instead of dragging and dropping, there will be some prompts you need to follow. Uh, just follow the on-screen prompts. We can now open up the disk drill like this. And once the disk drill has been opened, we're going to see iPhone and iPads. And we're going to click into this one and we're going to select devices and now we see no matching devices so what we need to do is we need to connect our iPhone to the computer so once the iPhone has been connected it should show up right here if it does not show up then you will need to head over to your iPhone's home screen you may need to trust the connection and then unplug and replug the iPhone. So we have two options here. We can search for lost data on the device itself, or if that fails, we can click on backups and we can go through each backup one by one and see what data is available on the backup. So the process will be the same for the device and backup. So I will just show the device itself. So we're gonna click on search for lost data and on the device itself, go to the home screen and you need to enter in your passcode. And now the scan is going to initiate. If it asks for a backup password, then just enter in one, two, three and if that fails, then you may have encrypted an iPhone backup in the past and you will need to remember the old password for the encrypted backup. So this scan can take quite a while. So I'm going to cut to once the scan has completed. Once the scan has complete, you can see the recovered files right here if you need to. What I will say though, is you know you have the sort by you can't view the uh, deleted files outright so it merges the non-deleted and deleted together I was impressed because it personally did find my deleted notes which I wasn't expecting but there you go if this drill couldn't find what you needed then you may need to um, you know go through those iTunes backups or find the backups just see if those deleted files are there because hopefully they are and you can export them using the software if they are not unfortunately you're out of luck and you know the deleted files can't be recovered with that being said if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye